Hey guys, this is going to be a very, really short tutorial on how to build a simple spinner like this. So, let's quickly jump into it. This is the final project. It's not really easy. It's not really hard. It's very, very easy. And let's get started. So, quickly, what we have here is a div class of spinner. That's that literally, that's just the HTML. It's really dead simple, right? What we have here. I'm linking to a star sheet. So the CSS is about 0.3 lines, which is quite small. Okay, let's start. So I'm just gonna remove it. So body, what do we want to do? So we want to give it a background of 222. Want to give the spinner a width of 100 pixels. Oh, runner, runner. 150 150 pixels height 150 pixels and uh, border 10 pixels solid white and what we'll do is i will give one of the sides border left color or right whatever which one you ever want you could change in the video it was right it was left so you could change to right give it blue and what we we'll do is for the radius 50 percent make sure that the width and the height are the same or you are going to get something else so let's center this quickly display flex you know the drill display flex just fire content center center is on the x-axis align and center center is on the y-axis but for us to see it what do we do we give it mean height 100 yards Boom. so now first to attach the animation so we write keyframes they whatever names it could be keyframe tech or whatever so i'm going to call it rotate rotate because that's actually significant to what we're doing so in animation in the keyframes that there are certain the way you define states in your animation keyframes are essentially states in your animation that's why it's called keyframes so the way you define keyframes here there's you could use percentages so when you're using percentages we from the zero percent is the starting point of the animation okay you start in the starting point of the animation you will start with the starting point what do you want you want the transform property okay transform property the rotate to be zero degrees okay zero degrees. and we could run we could do for example now we could do 20%, 21%, 19%, but those ones are not very helpful right now. What we want to do is 100%. From 0 to 100. Now we want the transform property to be what? You guessed it, 360 degree. But it doesn't work right away because we have to apply. And the way we apply it is by attaching the rotate property. Rotate. A duration. The easing function. And the number of times you want to run. In this case, infinite. So as you can see now, we have replicated the project. But I just want to just touch on this linear in case linear is confusing you. If we remove it, you can see that the 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 pace has changed. So that is there to make it to make the speed consistent. So that is that for the project. As I said, you could experiment with it changes to red you could make this uh bottom i don't think that's gonna work you could make it bottom you could even you could even make the border dashed or something whoa this one looks cool wow this one looks cool i never have it this one looks cool because you can actually see the spinning you can change this to dotted So yeah, there are really ways you could just experiment. I kind of like the dashed one. The dashed. This this actually pretty cool. That's that for this tutorial. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, and uh, see you in the next one. But before I cut the video here, I did upload a okay okay. I'm just gonna cut the video here.